Our lesson for today is all about proving Pythagorean theorem. In the previous lesson, you know about the right triangle similarity theorem and the geometric mean. This theorem will be used in proving Pythagorean theorem. So in this activity, let's identify the following. Line segment AB is blank of triangle ABC. What is the answer? The answer is the shorter leg. Next, line segment BC is blank of triangle ABC. The answer is longer leg. And last, line segment AC is blank of triangle ABC. The answer is the hypotenuse. The right triangle similarity theorem, in any right triangle, the altitude to the hypotenuse divides the triangle into two right triangles, which are similar to each other and to the given right triangle. While the geometric mean in a right triangle the altitude to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the segments into which it divides the hypotenuse and each of the legs is the geometric mean of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to the leg. In Mathematics 7, we were introduced to right triangle together with, with the other kinds of triangles. We defined that a right triangle is a triangle with a right angle. We also knew that the sides which include the right angle are the legs of the right triangle. And the third side, which is the longest side, is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. However, the study of right triangle will not be complete without mentioning the theorem which is considered as one of the most useful theorems in geometry, the Pythagorean theorem. Now, let's proceed to the Pythagorean theorem and its proof. The Pythagorean theorem it is the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. And uh, we all know that the Pythagorean formula is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. The Pythagorean theorem is attributed to the Greek mathematicians and philosopher Pythagoras and his followers who proved this theorem about 2,500 years ago. Consider triangle ABC with the degree measure of ang angle C is equal to 90 degrees and line segment AB is equal to C and line segment BC is equal to A and line segment AC is equal to B and line segment AD is equal to X and line segment BD is equal to Y. Let line segment CD be an altitude drawn to the hypotenuse and let's, uh, uh, let us prove that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So now, let's prove. For our first statement, triangle ABC is a right triangle. And obviously, the reason is given. For our second statement, triangle ABC is similar to triangle CBD and is similar to triangle ACB. 
And for this reason, the reason is right triangle similarity theorem. Next, for our third statement, C over A is equal to A over Y. And C over B is equal to B over X. And the reason here is by the definition of similar triangle. And for our based on our third statement, if we apply the fundamental rule of proportion, we will have our A squared is equal to CY and B squared is equal to CX. And obviously, the reason is based on the fundamental rule of proportion. Now, for our fifth statement, if we apply the addition property of equality, we'll have now A squared plus B squared is equal to CY plus CX. And obviously, the reason is by addition property of equality. Next, for our sixth statement. Now, based on our fifth statement, we're going to apply the common monomial factor. So, it will become now a squared plus b squared is equal to c times the quantity of x plus y. And the common monomial is c. So, for our reason for our sixth statement, that is, we use the common monomial factoring. And now, for our seventh statement, if we apply the law of exponent, we will get now the a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And the reason here is we apply the product law of exponent. I hope you understand our lesson for today, which is proving Pythagorean theorem. Thank you for watching.